Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes, and today is Monday, June 28th, 2021. It's projected to be the one of the first hottest days of the summer, and I'm in an attic. Today, we are going to, actually this morning, <laughs> we are taking out this air handler, maintaining the supply plenum and the hydronic coil, and replacing it with a Bosch IDS 2.0 system. It's a little before 8 a.m. I'm gonna start disconnecting power and uh, start taking this thing apart. And uh, we'll take it out piece by piece. I'm gonna drill a hole for our new line set that's gonna be ran, a little pilot bit. I got Joey outside working on the electric. Let's get it started. All right, I'm in the middle of dissecting this air handler. It's amazing the shit that I see. Check this out. All right, there's the evaporator coil. All right. And what the F is that? <laughs> see that? They made a coupling. Well, it looks like a compression. Um, yeah, a, nut, a compression uh, <laughs> 3 8 coupling. And they braced it <laughs> oh my god all right let me uh let me start hustling here it's getting hot all right it's around 9 15 in the morning slowly getting things done here we have the air handler installed well in in, <laughs> in place powered up fan running Joe is working on the supply plan. I'm mean, sorry, the return plan. It comes as knocked down, so we're gonna put that together. We'll figure it out. And Mike's got some screws. We're gonna secure the supply plan. And then I gotta replace that flex. And I gotta drill a hole in my line set. And hopefully we're out here by 12. All right, let's get up to this ladder. I got some zoom lock going on, going up this ladder. why I love zoom lock so much. Save time, save money. Zoom lock. Done. Is that five seconds? <laughs> I got a length going in there, a length running down. I'm gonna put my, uh, my uh, line set covers up now. I just wanted to get a good uh, sense of what's straight down. See, put the pipe hang. We'll know if it's vertical. Perfect. All right, I got Joey replacing the disconnect. I sent him out here to replace the disconnect, but she was sitting inside in the attic with me, just staring at me. And I said, Joey, go outside and replace the disconnect. Comes out here. He asked the other Mike, what's the disconnect? Mike points to that. And there it is. Okay. All right, uh, lines that covers. Where are you? Where are you? There you are, Slim Duck 100. Beautiful. Enjoying the breeze. What's about it, Joey? What do you need? A scraper. Why is There's no wire stripper in there? Yeah. No? Huh. No, it's not in there. Well, it's because someone didn't put it back. There you go. Wire stripper. All right, what time is it like? 11? 11-ish. We're ready to nitrogen and vacuum. But one real quick thing, real quick. I wanna show you something. 
You guys know I love my zoom lock, right? You see? This is a zoom lock 7 8 long turn 90. And that's one as well, right? And I got couplings. All right? So when I ordered this system, this Bosch IDS 2.0 from Johnstone, I was unsure of how many 7 8 zoom lock fittings I had. So I added a few to the order. And I got this instead. This is a Zoom Lock Max 7 8 coupling. There's two of them come in this bag, right? And they are different. Significantly different. This looks like a, like a, um, you know, Pro Press. And this looks like Zoom Lock. So I call up Johnstone. See, it says Maxi Pro 7 8. So I call up Johnstone. I get Tom on the phone over in New High Park. And he goes, oh, yeah. Like, um, you have the original Zoom Lock? I was like, yeah. I remember I bought it from you like several years ago. He goes, yeah, you got to bring the jaws in and uh, we're going to give you the new jaws for free. I'm like, that's interesting. I was like, what do I do with all of the old Zoom Lock fittings I have? And he's like, "Make email me a list of what you have and we're going to change them out for you. I'm like, okay. Something bad must have happened with these Zoom Locks. I know there was some drama with Zoom Lock and RLS and there was some drama there with licensing. Look at that. There's my new line set, by the way. It's connected. We're going to we're going to uh, pressure test. Stand by. All right. Looks pretty good. Let's isolate. I'm naturally going to want to jump up. Hopefully she doesn't go above 500. She's slowing up. That's good. And again, everything in here is brand new except the ductwork. So as long as that holds, it doesn't go above 500. The K test is good. I could use the iPad, but I'm not going to. I'm trying to just catch a breath here. Bosch. Not so beautiful Guardian. Looks like another POS over there. Such a beautiful, beautiful girl. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? Let me know. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Do you think Bosch is a pretty girl? I think she's sexy and hot. Long day, no? No long day? You know long day? You don't like the film? Oh, come on. Okay, don't make video of you, okay. All right, eight degrees so cool, guys. See that? I'm gonna add some more. I'm at 61, frequency of 61. I'll add a little bit more to this. 10 degrees, which she needs. A little after one o'clock, we ran into a problem with the thermostat wiring. Had to install a wireless setup, but getting it done, it's all good. Nothing else is scheduled for today except this install. All right. Good. 2.2 pounds. I got Joey, aka King Kong, working on the. Uh, panel right there all right cleaning up finishing up last but not least if you ain't testing you're guessing and if anyone wants a sticker please feel free email me details in the description box down below you know even just over the weekend I uh, sent some stickers to the Philippines, and Thailand. It's pretty good stuff. Mikey Pipes is global. I'm a global brand. St. Mike commands thee to request a sticker if you don't have one yet. And just wait. Just wait for version 3.0 for this, this winter. Oh my God, it's going to be epic. I wonder how long that's going to last in front of our shop. <laughs> All right, I just cleaned out the truck. It is 3.02 in the afternoon. We left this morning at 7 a.m. I wanted to get a little early start in there before it got hot. 
It's currently 92 degrees out right now and it feels like 100% humidity. Uh, so Joey and I emptied out the truck. I took my Milwaukee M18 leaf blower and blew out the back of the truck. And I said, okay, Joey, I see you tomorrow. He goes, no, I know come in tomorrow. I'm like, what happened? What's, what's the matter? The second day and you're already having to take a day off? I'm like, no, it's hard work. I can't do this, it's too hard. <laughs> Bro, if this is hard work, right? You need to find a different career because the majority of the service calls, residential service calls, you're gonna have to deal with addicts and change out systems, you know, are, uh, are, are, are air handlers typically located in attics. You know, once in a while we'll get lucky, we'll get a furnace and an evaporator coil in a basement, but most times it's a straight cool system because the majority of homes and properties that, that are in my area um, are hydronic or steam heat. So you don't have, you know, an HVAC system. You know, 80% of the homes have some kind of hydronic or steam heating system. So I said, all right, Joey. He goes, I like your video. I was like, okay. Well, thanks for being honest with me. I appreciate it. You know, at least I didn't invest too much time in him. You know, I had uh, last Thursday when he came in for an interview at 7 a.m. and he liked the job at the end of the first day. I had him take Friday off. Because on Fridays, I normally, you know, go home early, normally around 12, 1 o'clock, and I don't need him for the whole day. And I said, come in Monday. He came in this morning, or early, seven, you know, like 6.55, and we left five minutes later. And it was too much for him. So I'm glad that I, I figured that out, or he figured that out, well in advance. Nonetheless, I got an, e I, uh, an email today from uh, an HVAC apprentice and he uh, wants to meet up with me. So uh, we'll see how that works out. We'll see. All right. Let me, guys, let, let, me, guys, uh, let me get your thoughts and feedback, what you think of this video, what you think of the Bosch system. I love them. I think this is the, I think the ninth or 10th Bosch IDS 2.0 system I've installed. Maybe the 12th. Yeah, I think it's like, a, this is system number 11. Yeah, I have to love it, they're great. Anyway, be well. God bless. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on on Joey. All of you, uh, a lot of you are rooting for him, but if you can't take the heat, get your ass out the kitchen because I'm on a mission.